Hey Eugene here. So this video will be about a Soho flow I created a while back and this will be this would have been created before inventory and analytics was able to talk to each other. So this changed a few days ago this week. Um where finally the two apps, inventory and analytics, can speak to each other. So you go to the finance module and the fan from the finance module you can update all your uh, inventory information which is pretty nice. You were not able to do this before. So pretty much before I showed up with the company, they were chipping out samples, mainly in some other smaller packages that can send on a USPS envelope or box on um, to USPS. And they were doing this manually. So they had a different CRM and they had to manually copy and paste all the data from the CRM, which is name, email, address, for example, into USPS and from there make a purchase, get the tracking information, copy and paste that from the USPS website into the CRM. And once that was done, they'll get some information uh, between uh, the CRM and dump that into a Google Sheets, which the account department used. So the people doing this were spending a lot of time doing manual entries. Um, pretty much people are doing this all day. So a lot of this stuff has been completely automated when I showed up here. So from the front end, I'm not going to make a video about that right now, or I'm not sure if I'm ever going to make one, but pretty much what you do, the overall concept was we synchronize the CRM with the Soho inventory uh, app. You do this by uh, Soho Finance. That's the... Uh, the app connecting it to and in inventory you can connect a Pitney Bowles account so you don't have to get an account with Pitney Bowles and Pitney Bowles integrates with USPS so now if we do this inventory is talking to the CRM and we can get up the information we need and is dumping this into our USPS holders automatically and this is speeds up the process and there's some other stuff I did from the CRM like create a button that creates a task and and the people can know what's pending etc so there's there's some other stuff I did with blueprints etc I'm not going to go over that but this is the back end stuff where they had to copy and paste the information of the cells into a Google uh, Sheets so in this case if a package is updated this is when the uh, flow gets triggered I'm not sure if we need that, honestly. We could probably delete it, we'll be fine. Um, the condition we have here, if the shipment date is not empty, which means we shipped it out, which means we're probably not going to touch it anymore, uh, create a role in analytics, which is where I've been storing a lot of the information, and on the Google Docs, which is what the accounting department goes into and reviews. So if we click here, um, Pretty much we grab the worksheet, we grab the sheet, and we dump some basic information. The trigger date, uh, when the shipment is due, customer's name, shipment charge. This is pretty important, how much money we spend on that sample um, or any package we do. The address, we have some other stuff, status, uh, was this a return package, stuff like that. So pretty much this is how you would record information into a Google Sheets, which is pretty useful a lot of times. And yeah, I mean, this, this is what we have. And now they do a shipment and they don't have to worry about copying and pasting that information to a Google Docs. Um, yeah, so hope you like it.